Section 5, GPU Accelerated Libraries. In addition to the basic CUDA framework, NVIDIA provides various libraries for deep learning, linear algebra, signal, image, and video processing, and parallel algorithms. By using these libraries, you can build GPU-accelerated applications quickly without having to write everything from scratch. In this section, we'll take a brief tour of these libraries. We won't get into in-depth examples, but we will learn what all of the libraries can do, so if you need them in the future, you'll know where to look for more information. Deep learning. Deep learning is an approach to machine learning that uses multiple layers of neural networks to extract features from raw data. It can be used to solve problems in computer vision, natural language processing, machine translation, bioinformatics, and many other fields. Implementing these neural networks requires a lot of matrix operations, which can be sped up significantly by using CUDA. NVIDIA provides several libraries to accelerate deep learning tasks. NVIDIA has also developed specialized hardware which provides even greater performance and power efficiency benefits for deep learning tasks. These are called tensor cores, and they're included on some of NVIDIA's Tesla and Quadro GPUs, specifically the Tesla, Volta, and Turing hardware architectures. Tensor cores implement a matrix multiply and accumulate operation for 4x4 mixed precision matrices. That means, for example, that they multiply 16-bit floating point matrices and accumulate the results into a higher precision 32-bit matrix. Using tensor cores speeds up matrix multiplications by a large factor compared to standard CUDA hardware. All of NVIDIA's deep learning libraries can take advantage of tensor cores if you have them. The deep learning libraries don't ship with the CUDA toolkit. In order to download them, you have to sign up for NVIDIA's free developer program. You can sign up at this web page. Once you've created an account, you'll be able to download all these libraries. QDNN is NVIDIA's library of GPU-accelerated primitives for training deep neural networks. It provides highly optimized implementations of common DNN operations, like convolution, pool, softmax, neuron activations, and tensor transformations. QDNN can use tensor cores, but because they change the sequencing of floating point operations, they may produce slightly different numerical results. So they're disabled by default, but you can enable them by changing the math mode setting of the library. If you're running on hardware which has tensor cores, you should definitely try using them as they have significant performance benefits. While you can use QDNN directly, if you're working with a popular deep learning framework, you probably don't have to. QDNN integrates with CAFE, Chainer, Keras, MATLAB, MXNet, TensorFlow, and PyTorch. This integration gives you the speed benefits of QDNN without having to change your implementation in any significant way. To enable QDNN acceleration, check the documentation for the framework of your choice. TensorRT is NVIDIA's library for deep learning inference. It can import models built by various deep learning frameworks, optimize them, and run them on the GPU, providing as much as a 40 times speed up over CPU-only implementations. TensorRT includes both a C++ and a Python API. The TensorRT developer guide has step-by-step -step instructions for getting up and running with either API. When building deep learning applications, there are many parameters you can adjust that will affect the speed of operation. NVIDIA's deep learning performance guide discusses the impact of these parameters and provides advice on adjusting them for maximum performance. You can find it at the link here. Finally, the DeepStream SDK is a framework for computer vision, video analytics, and multi-sensor processing. It's designed to stream data from cameras and other sensors and feed it into a pipeline of deep neural networks and other complex processing tasks to perform analysis. It can be deployed on endpoints using NVIDIA's Jetson hardware platform and on servers with Tesla cards. For more information, follow the link on this slide.